Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Sonny. Just got back from Vegas and as you can tell, kind of lost my voice a little bit, but it's time to get back to work and back on the grind, man. Today, we're going to be doing some very special. I came up with a new way to add more camera in front of my RSX right here and I can't wait to show you guys. I am going to check it up and test it out and see if it actually works but before we get started let me show you all a little sum real quick here this is when you know that I'm, I'm only running a third of the wheel you see, that, you see that dirt right there you see that dirt yeah it's only a third of the wheel is running for Amber huh Amber today I'm gonna try to match the front with the rears because the rear is negative 10 and the front is like negative 7 so let's go ahead and check up the car real quick Okay, so the wheel is off, and my plan here is, let me go ahead and sit down and show y'all real quick. I slotted the top coil, right? That is why, you know, like, just a little bit in, and um, I was able to get, like, about three more degrees camera, but look at this. So my plan is to push it in like this, put a metal plate right here between these two holes, all right? So there'll be a bolt right here, a bolt and a nut right here, and a bolt and a nut right here to hold it on. It'll give me more camber. I only slotted the top. Maybe like, I would say like, not even an inch, right? Like half an inch. And they already gave me like three degrees. But this looks like, it's like about an inch or more. I might have to customize something real quick because, as you guys can tell, this is the ASB light. So I think it's the automatic brake um, system, whatever. This is just extra help for like, I think when your wheels are locked and it will just kind of like help you not spin out. But since this is ripped off, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this bracket out. So I'll have more room for my coil to go in like this because as you can tell when I push it in like this This bracket is actually hitting the frames. All right, let's try this project out and see if it actually works All right guys, so we went to Home Depot <laughs> Home Depot. <laughs> All right, so me KT and on here We went to Home Depot and we actually came up with a way to add more camera in the RSX uh, I haven't really vlogged anything yet, but We've been trying to test fitting the brackets, like the custom brackets, the custom bolts, and see if it fit. And we put the wheels on, and I think I have more camber in the front than the rear now. It's crazy. Let me go ahead and show you guys what we got real quick, alright? So, we went to Home Depot and we got this metal piece, very big right here. This is the bolt for my coilovers, alright? And then this is what, what did what you say this was? 5.8? Five 5.8, eight. Five eight. Five eight, right? Five eight. Okay, cool, cool. 5.8 and got a nut over it. Got some spacers here to fill in the gap. And then pretty much, yeah, that's it. Let me see, let me see the bracket that we just did. So this right here, right? Oh yeah, we had, we had to do it like twice because this didn't really fit that well. So we made another one and this, okay, focus, focus, hold up, hold up. Uh, so this bracket right here. It's a custom bracket. One hole is gonna go onto the coilovers and the other one's gonna go onto the knuckle. And what it does is it's gonna push out the knuckle so I can have more camber for the front. This bolt's gonna go onto the coilovers and then this one is gonna go straight onto the knuckle. Oh shit! And for only $80, you can buy a whole set from on! Not even 80 <laughs> bucks, so I think like we spent like what, like 50 bucks, huh? Yeah, we spent like 50 bucks. So like this metal piece, like what, like 10, 15? We got this for like a couple bucks. We got the washers for like the couple bucks and like the drill bit is like a couple like 10 bucks I would say 10, 15, bucks, I don't 20 know 20 bucks for the good one Was it, was it 20? 20 bucks Yeah, maybe it was one. like 20, huh? 20 bucks for the good one This is like you, you can, This is actually Aunt's idea Like he told me to try this out and now we're trying it out and it actually works, man Like this is so crazy, Aunt You're a man of wisdom <laughs> <laughs> We're currently making some more brackets because I think we need Four on each side, so we're gonna need two. We know, not four. We need two on each side, so four total, and then two holes on each bracket, so it's gonna be eight holes total. So let me just make some more brackets, and I'll update you guys in a second. Or actually, yeah, well, in the video it's gonna be like about a second, but in real life, probably gonna be like about half an hour. So see y'all in a second. <laughs> But after you cut out that metal piece, you're gonna have to sand it down real quick because if not, then it is Too no sharp. bueno, yup. Too sharp. You can get this sand machine anywhere for like a thousand dollars, but if you don't have one, just uh, <laughs> trying to get some sandpaper at O'Reilly's or something, alright? <laughs> Damn, sometimes it gets too hot, you know, to 
Pouring some beer real quick. Yeah, there you go. Cool it down. Perfect. Dude, alcohol, like, legit cures everything, huh? Let me go ahead and just update y'all about what's going on in here real quick, okay? Um, we kind of cut out some stuff. Well, not some stuff. Just one stuff. There's a bracket right here for the ASB or ABS. A brake line system. EBS is, I think, it's the anti-lock braking system. So it pretty much just prevent your wheels from that. locking. But I mean, you don't really need that because you're a good driver. Just drive good, and you'll be fine. You, don't you guys really are need good drivers, not because sucking. my ABS is on right now for like two years straight, and I'm I'm driving fine, bro. Since mine just ripped off out of nowhere, like about I would say a long time ago. So I just kind of took it out because it was kind of in the way so this out? bracket was on like this and it was hitting against the frame so that's why I had to cut it out but I don't know if you guys remember but before I slotted my coils if you can tell right here I slotted my coils just a little bit like that and they already gave me like three degrees camber y'all all right but imagine this from here all the way when I put the plate from here to out there it's gonna give me I would say at least five degree yeah so it's like a half an inch or like an inch i don't know but from here to here that's a very big difference for sure a few moments later dude that looks legit bro so after we put on the plates right it's gonna be something like this so the top coil overs and then the bottom one and now the plate is pushing the knuckle out so as you can see dude you can see my rotor right here Dude, I would say this is at least negative 10. Double digits for sure. I would say negative 10 to 12. Maybe like but I'm that. not sure. I have to, after this, my alignment is going to be so messed up. Camber gang! Yay! I think I'm definitely going to have to race my car after this, bro. Because more camber means more low. Holy shit, look at this. But it's all good though. Because since I lost some preload from before, now to have more camber and I'm lower, I'm just going to race up the strut and get my preload back. Baby, let's go. Put that camera for you. you might be driving on the ground. Yeah, right, hi. Yeah, 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 y
with me. Before we end this vlog, guess what came in the mail? Well, in my P.O. box. I finally received my first package, y'all. Like, first one ever. Yay! <laughs> Dude, my hair is a mess. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this together. Alright, Sergio. Thank you so much, Sergio. Oh, you can't see my face. Thank you so much, Sergio, for sending me this. It means a lot. I wonder what this is, man. Oh, there's a little note in there. And there is... What is this? Okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and read the note for you guys first. Hey, Sonny, big fans of you. Thought this might look good on your S13. Love the new color, by the way. Check us out online. GT. Hmm. Cut key to size. I'm not sure what this is. So I see two keys right here. It says cut key to size, insert key into knob, and tie and screw with 332 Allen wrench. Um, okay. And... Let's see what this is. So, it's kind of like a keychain. I've never seen anything like this before. Whoa. So, what am I supposed to do? Put a key in here and... Oh, so I think this is the keychain for the key, right? It comes with different color. Black, blue, two red. Well, I guess it's just three colors, but... Hey, that's sick. Thanks, Sergio, for sending me this. I greatly appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. If any of you guys want to send me anything, just send it my way to the P.O. Box. I'm going to leave the address right here. So thank you guys so much once again. And with that being said, I'm just going to end the vlog right now. If you find this video useful, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Later, y'all.